<laughs> Would you look at that? The blue lock is real. Thank you to our final patrons, Strawbones, Red Wolf 4765, and Midnight Gem Lord. Now, before we get into this breakdown slash live reaction to chapter 198 of Blue Rock, please, if you're to leave your own list in the chapter in the comments section down below, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, make sure you hit that little notification so you miss out on any videos that come to the channel. Also, also, I do a page down below, this point for as little as one, count them one dollar a month, you can think exclusive videos, early content, and more. Also, also, you can become a member of the channel right down below if you want to support the channel in another way. Now, let's hop into the live reaction. What's up, guys? I'm Pencil here, and here we are to do a live reaction to chapter 198 of Blue Loco, which is known as Zero Points. And I heard some good things. I heard some good things about this chapter. So let's not waste any more time. Editing me. Ready? Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> Greetings, greetings, my people. As you know, fun fact, if you tend to forget, I do indeed have it on me. Considering this is, in fact, Picolock, I wouldn't be shocked if I end up drawing it. But, you know, let's not get too hasty now. You know, never, you never know. Maybe it may not be Peak. But let's not waste any more time. Let's find out whether it's Peak or not to Peak. All right, mm -mm. As he dribbles his way through <laughs> blank defense, an evolved Rayo has only one thing on his mind. Make Nagi the world's number one striker. Like, I can't get over it, right? Like, I know, I know, I know, I know. But Pencil, this is what they want. But Pencil, look at how happy they are. But Pencil, and I know, right? But like, I can't support such a weak goal. Such a weak endeavor. Well, that, I guess... <sighs> I don't know. I still, I still don't like how the message for Rayo is to just ignore his character development. Like, I don't like how the message for Nagi is to ignore his character development. Like that, that next step just, boom, like boom and crap. Like it doesn't make sense. Like the whole thing that Nagi did to start his new character or to start his curiosity was like, hey, Rayo, no lie, bro. We just took an L. That's because we're shelter. Our world is too small. That guy beat me. I'm going to go work with that guy. And I'm going to try and beat that guy. But I'm going to do it on my own. Because now I'm interested in soccer. Thank you for bringing me here. Thank you for bringing me to the table. But now I'm going to eat my own meal. And Rayo, while he didn't like that at first. Sorry. Rayo, while he didn't like that at first. You know what his idea was? You know what his whole response to it was? A healthy response like well it wasn't healthy at first <laughs> he was desperate to get back with nagi <laughs> bro was fiending for it but his response after getting over his desperation was you know what fine fine i will grow in my own way i will make myself worthy as a striker on my own i will do what i can to fulfill my dream to get my freedom i will do just that on my own Sure, it ended up him copying things because he doesn't have a unique weapon of his own, but still, that was all to Rayo's own. The 99 dexterity, the copy, <laughs> the Resilient, I don't know why that was coming to my mind. Instead of like the copy, copy Leon or whatever they called him, that was his separate step. And the thing, they were going in separate directions, which felt good. It was obvious their initial relationship was not healthy for them. So why is their next step as characters walking that back? I feel like this can't be right. Like, But the thing is, people believe it's right. Just in general, I've seen the discourse. You guys in the comments believe it's right. I've seen the discourse. And three, it seems like the narrative's kind of rewarding them. Because Rayo's power-up is doing good. He's doing all that. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like I, I still have faith in the manga. I think this is just like a really long con, like this game is. Um, and then one thing I have seen in the community a lot, at least on Reddit, once again, that's my main interaction with the community, but is the idea that the game is going on for too long? But, uh, like, why is that a problem? I, I don't know. Like, I like more of this content, especially considering this is such, this is like our last training arc before the, the big leagues, right? Like, aren't they immediately going into the World Cup after this? So, I think these games stretching out and developing our characters is the best thing we can do. I don't want to start blazing through them. But... Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll this. I don't like how Rayo's going as a character. But let's see. Mm -mm. 
Blue Lock Anime, now airing every Saturday. Check out Blue Lock if you haven't. I haven't, and I won't. <laughs> I will check out certain scenes, and even some of the certain scenes I've checked out, I'm just not a fan of. But that's just me. I'm a very, I'm very weird <laughs> when it comes to anime. I'm much more the manga man, being completely honest with y'all. Like, I like anime. I think it's an extremely impressive field, and I love it when it's done great. But just never really 100% been my thing. <laughs> but let's see. No, not yet. Breakthrough. Grim. Get him, Grim. That is Grim, right? I forget. Bit more to the middle. Just 10 meters. No, 7. 5. Up. Uh, it was indeed Grim. Okay, okay, so he has some, he has some stackers on here. He has some, be he has some beasts and some demons. All right, so we got Gagamaru all the way in the back ready to defend. We got these two randoms, because that's all they are. They are pure randoms. I don't think they're any blue lockers. We have Noel Noah, the goat, the man, the beast, the legend, who should just be able to pull up and just absolutely shut this down, but who knows, you know, maybe he's not going to do that. And then we have Agi and Nagi. These two individually are fully capable of getting themselves a goal, and I think with Nagi just being like, okay, Nagi, that's your next step? Fine. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I think with that being set up, I wouldn't be shocked if Augie was going to be like, hmm, but you look at this. An open goal. It'd be a shame if I took it. <laughs> but let's see. Five, three. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what Rayo does here. So he's obviously aiming for Nagi, right? Nagi looks back to receive the ball. Rayo, ooh, that's that's neat. That's neat. That's neat. So what happens here, at least from what I'm assuming, Grim tries to cut in front of him, but Rayo, being Rayo, is like, huh, no. And then immediately he, let's see, where was the ball though? That's a kind of that's kind of a crazy maneuver if I have to say so myself. What? So the ball is here. Grim gets in front to try and block Rayo's shot course or passing course to Nagi or Agi. Rayo, okay, that makes sense. So he, it seems like he hit the ball with his left. So he steps over, puts, plants himself on his left, chips it with his right, and then breaks around Grim. That's impressive. He steps over Grim and breaks around him, and then immediately goes. Bro's a demon. <laughs> <laughs> Why did Saki low scare jump? He low key jump scared me like that. What? Bro came the clutch. I was like, <laughs> "You, man, that's gotta be ten. like." Look at the look on Rayo's face. Like, what? <laughs> I don't blame him. I'd be terrified too. That's in the wild. Where'd bro even come from? I don't even see him. Then again, we don't necessarily get a back shot of what's behind Rayo. We do get a back shot of Rayo, but with that being the case, he gets past Grim. But I guess Asagi's not playing those games. And <laughs> You know it's over. See, it's a wombo combo now. Because, like, obviously the Metavision eyes are up. He's got the the Metagon, if you will. But you know it's serious when he starts breaking into puzzle pieces. You know that boy's... He thanking, thanking right now. So he came out the clutch. He's just stopping Rayo. Oh, okay. So all Rayo did was go for the shot course. Or the pass course. And Nag Isagi got in the way and knocked it off course. I wonder... So, like, in the mind of a metavisioner, like, is that, is that an appropriate term, a metavisioner? But, like, in the mind of a metavisioner, I wonder what that looks like as a branch off path. Like, in Isagi's mind, I get it. The main, I'm assuming the metavision breakpoint there was just get there, stop Rayo. But, like, what is the next step in Isagi's mind? Because the ball looks like it's going way out of his reach. And especially the way he's positioned, I don't think he can very quickly land and, like, chase it afterwards. He just redirects it. None. Yes, Rayo, you suck. I'm... Do I not like Rayo? I have this debate every single week and every time I read the chapter. I don't know. Because I love Nagi. I, I have questions for the man half the time, but I love Nagi. Like, ask me like three, okay, maybe like two months ago at this point. Maybe two, maybe a month ago. Ask me a month ago at this point. I say Nagi's my favorite character. Now it's a bit more contentious, just because Isagi's amps have been going crazy, and I've been reflecting on Nagi and his very current character direction, how much I feel about that. But sometimes I wonder, do I just not like Rayo? <laughs> Is it, I think it's different. I, it's different from, like, if you plugging my other series, even though the other series is way more popular on the channel. In the Fortnite series, I have the character called Jade, which I just, like, 
Bam. <laughs> but for that, there's no reason for it. Like, he hasn't done anything wrong. <laughs> so I usually, I, I clown on him just out of the nothingness that he is as a character. Meanwhile, Rayo's had a ton of character stuff. But for some reason, I feel like my brain is just like, no. <laughs> that man, <laughs> we don't like him. Hey, I can't, I can't knock what the brain says. Let's see, Isagi, different, different right now. Grim, get some help, bro. Your face looking a little bit jacked up. Isagi, Rayo's egocentrism is all about sending the final pass to Nagi. He called him an octopus. What? Can you imagine? What? What is that even? Well, octopus is. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Octopi can camouflage. Wow. Saw that coming from a mile away, you octopus. You know how mad, like, you know what Isagi really wanted to say. You know what Isagi really wanted to say. And if you don't, good. He meant to call him an octopus, and only an octopus. Do not think about what else an octopus could be. But we're going, <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, again. Though you can see, though. He saw he's definitely operating near, or if not at his limits. You can tell by the, uh, and the breathing, and the sweat. Yeah, using MetaVision still at this level is, he's, he hasn't optimized it yet. Sure, he's using egocentrism. He's added that extra layer to his MetaVision, which probably allowed him to do that, where someone like Kaiser just wasn't there. And usually, if the, those two are on the same level of MetaVision, they will appear at the same point. We've seen that throughout this game. So... It appears this higher level of MetaVision is even more taxing because Isagi is already <laughs> like bro is already kind of out of it. So I think he's going to take these next couple seconds to cool down is what I would have said if I didn't see Father Prince down here already about the style on bros. Like, and I love how, once again, Chris has some of the most, I almost, is it dynamic posing? Yeah, I'd say the, he has some of the most dynamism in terms of like how his character is drawn in comparison to a lot of the characters in blue lock like right here he just feels so airy like <sighs> like he perfectly traps the ball on the outside of his left foot and it's just like in this beautiful manner to it once again i feel like that boy's an actor he knows how to do it he knows how to make it look stylish and i love it i love it though he's soggy you may have messed up bro <laughs> yeah look okay so in a meta visioner's mind so see, that's another, thing. he's got, so one thing that I did see in the community that I also kind of agreed with for a while was the idea that maybe Soggy's getting a bit too amped. Like maybe it's coming, maybe it's coming down the pipeline a bit too quickly, but with something like this, with the idea that his MetaVision has evolved, he, because the crazy thing is, right, Isagi went from no MetaVision to developing MetaVision to evolving MetaVision, but what he still needs to add to it in things like luck. You can tell because this is not a react. It's not like a t overly shocked reaction. It's not like when Yuki Mai came out the clutch, it was like, mine. It's not like that. But it still is a reaction of like, oh, I did not account for that. So his meta vision still has room to evolve. And obviously his stamina grows room to evolve. So I'm more fine with the idea of the pace he's progressing at. Especially considering... Let me think. France is going to be this... I'm assuming France is going to be the final team they're going to fight because it's going to be the strongest. Like, I've seen multiple discussions on that. Like, Shido and Rin on the same team already is something else, but that team also has the Mbappe clone Loki. So, like, they're going to be some monsters. So, Isagi definitely needs the amps in these lesser games in order to really compete at all with them. So, it makes sense. It makes sense. And we see, yeah. Chris admits, like, he is super lucky, and that's just how it goes. So, luck is going to have to be something that he accounts for. <laughs> no time. No time wasted. Yo, what's with these characters wasting no time? Bro, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. All right. I'm about to take a shot, because I got it. No. Okay. I'm about to take a shot, because I got it. No. Okay. I'm about to take a shot, because I got it. No. <laughs> I love it. They're just constantly like, boom. Boom, boom. This, cha this chapter already, I don't even think I'm like three pages in, is so intense in terms of the physicality within it and how much these characters are doing. It's closing time, Chris. Time for us to clock out and call it a day. Interesting. So he... So he killed his momentum midair. And that's seemingly before Chris even hit the ground. Like, you can see here... At least, hold on, let me go back up here. Let me see. Where is Prince? Okay, so Prince isn't even 
as far as I can tell, Prince isn't even anywhere near here. So Prince had to have blitzed in front of these two, gotten past Noah to a certain degree, and then appeared here, which makes sense if he was charging right past or behind Isagi and stuff like that, gets here, and then Noah immediately redirects and comes in to stop him, which is crazy, especially to do considering he's nowhere... I mean, he's kind of close to this area, but still, that kind of speed is insane. Time for us to clock out and cold. And I love how calm he is. Like, you can see someone like Chris, he gets wrapped up in the heat of the match. Meanwhile, Noah's just like, your father. I'm the GOAT. And nothing is going to change that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Just a few more minutes. Sorry, we don't get paid for overtime. I love this. I love the dynamics between. That is another thing that I do love about the Neo Egotist League. I love how the Master Strikers, one way or another, have all had a rapport with... Well, to be fair, we've only gotten two of them. To be fair, we've already gotten half of them at this point. Because we have Chris and we have Lava Hino. And that's two. There are only two left. I really am interested to see his interactions with uh, Snuffy and Loki, though. Because Snuffy just seems like a guy who wouldn't necessarily care. Because I believe Ego described him as like a freelancer who will go to wherever he's needed and fill whatever role. So that's one. And Loki's really young. He may idolize Noah in the same way that some of the Blue Lock kids do, but I don't know. He seems so confident in himself and who he was. And his play style seems entirely different from Noah that maybe not. Maybe this wouldn't work out. I don't know. Let's see. Just a few moments. And another thing I love. Look at the look at the happy. Look at the light, happy, heroic, pure nature of him. And then look at the moment Noah appears. It brings out his ugly side. I love it. I love it. I love it. Once again, Chris, just on an expression front, one of the most diverse characters in Blue Lock. And he's only been on panel for this match out of the many chapters we have in Blue Lock. So he's, he's great. More minutes. Sorry we don't get paid for it. That is great. Yo. Okay. Okay. So he did hit the ground in that time. But that's crazy. So Chris traps it. It goes up into the air. It bounces off his other thigh, and Noah uses Chris's body as support while the ball is still in play, but it's not technically in Chris's possession. And, and to avoid fouling him, immediately heel kicks it away. That's crazy. The dexterity required for that is next level. I'm going to have to see that. I'm going to look that up and see if people actually do that in real life. Because there have been something, like Gagamaru's goal or his save where he like went on a one hand did a handstand and blocked with his heel that was a thing like a goalkeeper actually did that so i gotta see someone has had to have done that before and if so that's crazy that's a lot of faith in another person's body <laughs> nice clear nope it's my ball <laughs> no yo everyone is just oh, i love it it makes sense this is like near end point of the game but i love how ironically enough on the ball everybody is everyone's snapping the place so quickly nope it's my ball I'm in front of the goal. There's still a chance if I can just shake this guy and get an inside cut. <laughs> this poor guy, he's like, I am not a main character. People won't remember my name. Please don't hurt me. But, like, look at that. Immediately reacts to catches it. And Corona's like, nah, bruh. Not happening. Not today. And, of course, it's the two speedsters that are counting. Interesting. So, another interesting thing to note about the counter so far. So... At least from my understanding, I wouldn't count Grim in this, but it starts off with the pseudo MetaVision user. And the pseudo MetaVision user gets countered by the real MetaVision user. Then we get the worst striker. <laughs> it's just objective. Like, all right, it's just objective. I'm not saying that. And you Chris fans out there, don't slaughter me. But the worst striker gets immediately countered and outdone. Oh, yeah, it's being countered and outdone. Though, ironically enough, by another striker, another master striker, the best striker in the world. And then the speedster gets a hard counter by another speedster. So not only is it characters that are constantly on top of each other, it's characters with similar qualities or similar titles or backgrounds or abilities countering each other in such a way that only they could. Man, Blue Lock is peak. How do people not think this is peak lock? This may be... Like, if JJK didn't exist, this may be best new jazz. <laughs> JJK is just different. I hate to say it. JJK just has a little bit of extra special sauce that Blue Lock can't hit just yet. The Bullhawks aren't. But let, discussions for another day. But let's see. Nope, not happening. 
Like I'm gonna fall for the same trick three times. Yeah, baby, I love it. Your annoying braid head. Is he a midget? Is he really a midget? Is he that short? Your annoying braid head. I can't move freely. Augie. Okay, who's gonna counter Augie though? Okay, let me take a guess. No, there's no one. Like, Augie's sort of an all rounder. Do we have any all rounders? Other Kunigami. Kunigami would come in and clutch it. If. Yeah, in terms of just like sheer physicality, Augie's a physical beast, and we already had Noah come in. So I'm assuming that Noah Copy would come in and negate another physical beast, assumingly. So to Augie, like, look at how high Bro is. Bro is. He's at least, he leaped off the ground in short notice to probably about like two, two and a half to three feet in the air. I don't know. This guy is tall, probably. So you never know. But he bounced it off his chest. That is crazy. The game sense is incredible. So high. You think so? <laughs> I love Augie, bro. If only he had normal eyes, bro. I hate, I'll admit, him and the U20 guy, I hate the um lazy circle eyes. But... You think so? Then I'll just attack. I'll just attack low. I love it. I love once again. I I mentioned your brain. Your boy's brain is braining right now. What did I say earlier? Now that he doesn't have to babysit Nagi anymore, it's his ball. It's his goal. He'll go for it if he really feels like it. I'll just attack low, and that's crazy, bro. Bait. Okay, so he bounced the ball. Let it drop. Let himself drop, and immediately burst through with a. That's crazy. I'll just attack low with this. The game over. Yo. Okay, if you don't like Kaiser, bro, I respect your opinion because bro is unbelievably mean and evil and wrong. But yo, I didn't think of that. If the if the two true masters have already been used from the original, use the secondary master, which in this case would be Kaiser and Agi. Stop each. And Isagi, I see you. I see you there, Isagi. What you going? Where, where you going, boy? Where you going, boy? Where you going? I see you. You don't think you can't? You don't think I can't catch you? You don't think I can't? Pursue? You think my metavision eyes aren't activated? Yeah. Like for for the longest time when I was younger, I really wanted like um, Sharingan contacts. <laughs> Imagine I just show up to one of these live reactions and just, oh, hi guys, what's up, guys? That guy with Metavision here, and I open the eyes up, and it's just the pool. It's the puzzle pieces. Yeah. But let's see. The curtain hasn't fallen yet. Yo, I love it. I love the, the high-speed nature of the game. I love who's countering who. Yo, I'm loving it. Peacock is pe... Do I draw the blade so quickly? Nah, 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 nah. Nah, we gotta wait. We gotta wait. We gotta wait. Your ending sucks. Here, I'll show you a better one. Yo, I love it. I love, man, Kai, man, I know he's an awful individual. He's horrible, but he's so cool. He's so cool. Sorry. The tattoo fire, too. The tattoo is fire, too. Your ending sucks. I'll show you a better one. Oh, man. Oh, so they both messed each other up. So Augie's speed was enough. So Augie went for the, maybe not the shot. Maybe he was going for a pat. But then again, who who's to the right? It seems like he was passing to the right here. But regardless, they clashed and messed each other up. It's not over yet. Loose ball. Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. But Isagi gonna block it. Isagi gonna block it. I, I saw him. I, I, I peeped him. I peeped him. You can't... Kaiser, you can't fool me, bruh. But, man. That actually looks familiar. Was it? Which which game was I want? I think it was Argentina, not Argentina. It was America versus the Netherlands. That that recent game. <laughs> yeah, I think this literally happened. Where it was like, up oh, the middle is left perfectly open for someone to just take a shot, <laughs> and that person, the the goalie, let that happen. <laughs> so let's see, loose ball. Right into rails. And look, he's even taking a direct shot. Bro's not even trapped. He said, I'm not trapping this. Let me direct shot this bad boy. Look at the flames. Look at the patterns. I hope he gets stopped because he doesn't deserve it. But let's see. Watch your tone, dog. Watch your tone. Watch how you speak. And you know who else said that the Lord was their ally, Rayo? Yukimaya. You wanna know where Yukimaya is right now? Not scoring. Hmm? Hmm? 
Unless you're talking about the god of the field, Nagi. Watch your tone, bro. Watch your tone. Watch it. Maybe hop into that narrative myself. I'll do it. Though I will admit that's a pretty fire panel. The ball spinning right there. I'll block it. Ah, uh, Gagamaru. My boy. My boy. Ultra reflex. Stre Ooh, he actually blocked it. At least it looks like he did. This is a beautiful pen. Yo, why is the blue lock on Gaka just cracked? Nomura, what are you? What did? What mate? How do you do this? <laughs> Nomura, legitimately, how do you do this? But ultra reflex stretch. Nah, that's crazy, bro. Where'd you? Where? Where? Okay, where was? Okay, it was set up though. I can't even say it wasn't set up because oh, the way, oh, the way, oh, way, oh, way. All the way back here, you can already see Nagi sprinting towards the goal. So what I'm going to assume is he got in, got a little closer, cut left, and drove right back in towards the right once he saw Rayo had the ball so he could do that. So it was set up. And that's one thing you got to love about Blue Lock. It'll show you everything. It'll it'll let you know. The interesting thing is here, you don't see him here. And assumingly, he has to be somewhere. Like, he has to just barely be off camera here or barely be out of the shot. Because you can see Isagi there. Perfect. Yeah, so Isagi has to block this. I, that's what I have to assume. Speaking of, there's our goat right there. I'll block it. But I won't lie. One thing I love about Nagi and pretty much all of his appearances is how he will just... its They call it the black hole trap for a reason. Like, bro will suck all the life, the momentum, the everything out of everything look at look at how explosive and energetic this panel was all the action lines the motion blur all that the spin of the ball all for it to just stop because nagi's here because the goat is here i'm sorry i still love nagi he so easily top five even if i don't like the way his character is going but let's see perfect rail 100 points it was a pass stupid goalkeeper Ah, but how are you even supposed to realize that? It look like that straight look like a shot. Like the power and force behind that, I don't blame him. They got me. No zero point. <laughs> no, no, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. No, see, look at the hunger in this man's eyes. Look at the sweat pouring down his face. Look at the greed. Now that's an egotist if I've ever seen one, baby. Look at him. Ooh. Bro, bro took the ball from the trap. God. Yo, that is crazy. Once again, bro came out one. Nagi off screen here. So in the moment that this ball traveled any distance, Nagi beat it to there. Bro literally leaped at the speed of I'm not sure how fast that ball is traveling, but it was traveling not fast enough for the speed god Nagi to show up and be like, yeah, no. But then on top of that, before Nagi, the demon he is, can even hit the ground, Isagi clears the goal, the whole goal. You don't see Isagi here anywhere. He clears the whole length of the goal and gets in front and steals it. No, Gagamaru didn't even hit the ground. Look at how close Gagamaru is to the ground here. And look at where he is. Isagi he, he, he is crazy. I told you, idiots, didn't I? There wouldn't be any more miracles for you, too. That's... I'm talking about... My gains. My blood pressure. <laughs> my blood pressure through the roof. No way. My shot, like, pass. And Naki's black... Oh, yeah, what the black hole trap? Black hole trap, Isagi. He saw through all of our moves because he's him. Bam. Is Nagi going to fall? It looks like he's going to fall. Spurring yourself forward while believing in your own story. If that's what egocentrism is all about. When two protagonists with the same goal intersect chemical reactions. Interesting way to put that. Huh. And it is true. Both of them did have the blacked out eyes. That's a psychological principle behind our chemical reactions. It's something that can't be extract they explain rationally just like i did now i gotta analyze everyone's egos i still hate that panel um <laughs> and then calculate where those egocentrism intersect if i can do that i can crush even those miracle super goals now it's time to go on the offensive and score never before seen goal and in the end 
Chapter 199, what do you see? I will be the main protagonist. He's like, he already knows. He knows the plot. He knows the truth. But dog, dog. <sighs> it is thigh. It's worthy. Like, do, do I have to explain to you why it's worthy? Do, do you really need me to explain it to you? Because I will, anyway. Even if you don't. Even if you don't. I will not keep the sword out, though, because I would like to scroll through this chapter to explain why it's worthy. One, this is, like, possibly the most intense. Like, word for word, bar for bar. The most intense a Blue Lock chapter has been on sheer action front. Like, like straight, raw action. This chapter is it. This chapter is is purely nothing from from start to finish straight movement straight hands i forget which chapter i talked about that was like mostly talking obviously namora heard me and was like you know what you sick and tired of talking i can take away some talking bro from the opener to the finisher rail coming out the clutch like a man man bro is zooming and then you get, not only do you get consistent action and the way the ball's movement, the intensity, but you get it in these perfect parallels. The pseudo-metavision versus real metavision. The master versus the master. The speed versus the speed. The secondary versus the secondary. The ultimate mix-up. Into the ultimate, that like, bro, the chapter's beautiful on that front. Number two, it's feeding into my ego. My understanding, my interpretation of the narrative, that this miracle super goal, the combination between Nagi and Rail, is not enough. It's incorrect. It's improper. If someone as physically inept, and that sounds bad, but if someone as physically inept as Isagi can reach in and stop your super combination, can break through your egos, you need to take that back to the trading, the, um, the whiteboard. Figure that. Figure that. Just figure that. Figure that out. Figure that out. Get that right. Get that right. But overall, the chapter is just, the chapter is a beautiful. I already, I see the thumbnail. I have the thumbnail right, right here before my eyes. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure the little notification button to miss out on any videos that come to the channel. Also, also, I do have a here down below. It's more for as low as one, kind of one, down a month. It gives me exclusive videos, early content, and more. Also, also, you can now become a member of the channel for as low as $3 a month to get the same exclusive perks and more. Now, thank you so much for watching once again, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is Dagon the Pencil, writing off.